Welcome to the Chef's Kitchen Restaurant Edition. I'm your host, Nicole Gaffney, and we're here today at Nordon Preferred Kitchen Equipment Studios. And joining me in the kitchen is Chef David Jansen and Francesco Martorella of Jansen in Philadelphia. Welcome, both of you. Thank you Thank so you. much for having us. Of course, it's a pleasure to have you both here. So we have some really nice ingredients out on the table, so tell me what we're making today. Well, today we're gonna to be uh, using some incredible turbo, mm. which is from Spain, uh, extremely fresh. And we're gonna do that with some fresh morel mushrooms that just came into season. Does. Uh, straight from Oregon, and then uh, Chef Monarella is going to be doing a uh, gonna, sweet pea ravioli. Sweet nice. pea ravioli with uh, truffle essence. It's uh, organic peas. Uh, it's pretty simple. Nice. Fresh pasta. So perfect for spring. Awesome. Well, let's get started. Okay. Uh, Chef, do you want to take us away with the pasta? Sure. It's going to be a little loud here with the machine going. Right. We have some fresh pasta here. Uh, my rule of thumb is I usually use dorm flour mm -hmm. to make my pasta, and it's one egg per person. Um, that's how usually I figure it out, and I usually split it up. Uh, if it's two eggs, I use one egg yolk. I was going to say, it looks like you have some extra yolk in there. Yeah, there's really a little yellow. extra egg yolk in there. Nice. So we're going to just pass it through the machine to get it the, the consistency that we need. We don't need this much. Okay. So we're going to cut that. Looks so nice and smooth. It does. I just made it before we came here. Did you? Yep. I used dorm flour, extra <laughs> fancy. And we're just going to run it through. You know, this is so much nicer than the hand crank machine. Oh, much you know? nicer. You don't just don't get the work done. Right. Though. So now why are you folding it over like that? I'm folding it just to make the dough a little smoother. Okay. And incorporate all the flour and get the right width. I want to get pretty much the full width of the machine, so that's why I'm doing it okay. like that. See? Yeah. So you have to keep it floured so, what, so it doesn't stick? Yeah, it doesn't stick. If it sticks, it'll rip the pasta. Mm. We don't need a lot of flour. So we're just gonna work the machine down to get the thinness. We want a nice thin ravioli. Dave, if you wanna like, while I do this, so I get it the right no, consistency. I'm, 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 no, I'm you enjoying good. this right now. You are? <laughs> I'm getting a little less of myself. No, he sees this every day, so. So do you make all of your pasta in-house at the restaurant? Yeah, we make everything fresh. Awesome. Yep. Everything's fresh at Jansen. I mean, Dave buys the best products. I can see and, that. And we have a lot of fun working with them. I'm happy to be there with them. We work together at the Four Seasons. We've known each other for a long time. Yeah. He's become a great friend and he's a great chef. He's one of the hardest working chefs that I know. Oh. Thanks. Wow. Wow, he's really what. pumping you up That's here. That's it. I better start working <laughs> myself over here. So these are your morels. Now these are the morels. These. these are the ones that came in from Oregon. Wow. What we try to do, like Chef said, is we try to get the freshest ingredients. We're mm -hmm. dealing with a local farm mm -hmm. that is growing specialty greens just for us. Wow. And then we went through, and he's going to be growing also Swiss chard for us, uh, mm. a whole bunch of different vegetables for the springtime. But right now, we're starting to get these beautiful morels. And in. this is out in Oregon. Yes, these wow. are in uh, Oregon. But the farm that we're dealing with is called Erdenon Farm. Okay. It's about 10 minutes away from the restaurant. Oh, wow. And it's right in the center of, of Plymouth White Marsh, believe it or not. But it's a gorgeous farm, and we're kind of doing a collective because he really loves food, and I really love his great product. Perfect. Yeah, it's a awesome. match made in really, heaven. Really, really well. So we're just going to saute this. We're doing it in a um, uh, extra virgin olive oil. So really high heat, I see. You yeah, have. you want to get it smoking so that way you get a good crispness on the morels, but also you want to start getting a little bit of crispiness on it. So yeah. as soon as we start getting that sweated down a little bit, we're going to add our shallots, our garlic, and then we also have a little bit of fumet to glaze it with. Beautiful. Is this the garlic here? Yes. Wow. I've never seen a chef chop garlic like that. Well, you it's know It's like what? a julienne. Exactly. And, and uh, you know, when you do something like that, it always makes you feel like it just looks so pretty because this it's such is, a, a little bit of rat. Shall can we, we use talk about your knife skills? Because that's crazy. Well, that's 30 years that's of amazing. having a knife in your hand. Seriously. And it, yeah, and we had a, like Fr Chef Francesco said, we had some great experiences at the Four Seasons. I was there for 20 years. Wow. Chef was there for a long time, but then he also opened up uh, Brasserie Perrier, a, nice. a great restaurant. And also he had his own restaurant, Bliss, down in Center City. So Amazing. we've teamed up and it's been they really me out fun. Of retirement. <laughs> I did. I did. So this is a sweet pea ravioli. Beautiful. It's uh, pretty much just organic sweet peas. I just boil them in a good amount of salt and I just pureed them in the cuisinart. Mm -hmm. And when I pureed them in the cuisinart, I just added a little bit of truffle oil. And that's it. That's it. Wow. That's it. 
Now, if are you these... want, you can taste all the others. I would love to. Are these freshly shucked peas, or are you using like fresh, frozen fresh shucked peas? Wow, so We don't that's... use frozen, we use everything fresh. A lot of preparation goes into that. Yep. You can actually smell the truffle oil in it. I already know these are gonna taste amazing. Stay tuned for more from Nordon Preferred Kitchen Equipment. Nordon, it's fantastic. There's a lot of space, high-tech equipment. The ovens are phenomenal. I can't wait to own one. So we're going to pipe a little dollop in there. So pretty, nice and green. So it's just about a tablespoon, it looks like? Yeah, if you can make it bigger if you want. Okay. Uh, you can serve more than one, but uh, mm -hmm. we normally just serve like a, as an accoutrement. Okay. And then I just have a real light egg wash. I don't put too much eggs, just a real water light. water it down just a little. water it down as much as you can. Okay. And just to seal it so it doesn't That is open such up. a beautiful green color. Isn't it? Then I'm just going to fold them over. This is kind of my technique. Uh, we, okay. You know, just to make things a little, sometimes we have to make easier. a lot of these. Yeah. And you do everything by hand. Everything by hand on this machine. Right, that's so impressive. Yes. So I got my little cutter here. Just need to flour a little bit. Okay. And I'm just going to cut it. Look at that cutter, it's so cute. Is there any kind of a history to that thing? It looks like it's been around forever. Yeah, it was, it, this, this cutter was Dave's grandmother. I mean, it looks like it was somebody's grandmother. <laughs> it totally does. So we're just going to give it a little seal. Okay. And then we're going to just kind of like even them up a little bit. Got it. And so you have sure, to make sure, like, really tight. Make sure seal. it's sealed, and then I'd like to just give it a little egg wash and give it a little twist like oh, this, cute. so it collects this great sauce that Dave's oh, making. Oh yeah. Nice, starting to get some good flavor to yeah. it. I seasoned them with salt and pepper, and then I took that nice chiffonade of chopped shallot and garlic, and then we're going to sweat that down. And then what I have here to deglaze it is I have a little fumet. It's just a white wine fish stock. Mm -hmm. Fancy name, but... Fancy French words. Yeah, but it's really simple. It's but just... it makes it sound like, like you know what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> heaven knows I don't. Uh, I, I think that's a good of So we're going to deglaze that in there. Great. And that's going to be our poaching liquid. Okay. So that's French olive oil. That's morels, shallots, garlic, and then for me, that's it. Now I took the turbo. That's impressive. And I seasoned it with just salt and white pepper. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to put that right in there. Lovely. And poach it. You oh. don't want to go too fast because the inside will cook, or the outside will cook a little bit too uh, quickly. So it's just a real gentle yeah, poach. Yeah, just a, we're going to just bring it down a little bit. And okay. while we're doing that, we'll take the ravioli, poach that, and be ready to go. So this sounds like it's going to be amazing. And then another thing that's just crazy. Springtime, Meyer lemon. Oh, just really, really good. We're gonna finish, we'll do a little bit. The thing about turbo is you don't wanna go too hard on it. You don't wanna cook it too much because it'll become dry. So, so this turbo is a, a, typically a French fish. You see that a lot in France. Um, in cooking. France, this is what they call, um, it's almost like they're flounder. Really delicate. Exactly, really tender, really simple fish, but um, has great flavor if it's done properly. Right. That cooked up super fast. It did, it did. And what we're going to do is we're going to place that off to the side. Okay. And we're going to concentrate now on making a sauce for the ravioli. Mm. So you see that this is almost all the way cooked. It's just really tender. You have to be very, very careful because it'll break apart extremely easy. And now we're going to concentrate on making a simple, uh, like a lemon bernage to go with the ravioli. Mm. Tell me what a bernage is. A bernage is a classic French stock. It's just a butter sauce. Very, very simple. simple. Very, once again, it, the French make everything sound so romantic Don't and they? so wonderful. It's great though. Yeah. But the creaminess, and once again, we're going to use a little bit of the shallots in this and a little bit of the Meyer lemon to finish mm. it. So shallots, a little bit of garlic, not a lot. Just a teeny bit. Just a little bit because the shallots will do. Yeah, we have enough flavor going on in there. Exactly, exactly. So Jansen, new, new uh, adventure for you. Yes, we've been open for eight months. Uh, the response from uh, our customers has been fantastic. I bet, well you have an incredible resume. Tell me a little bit about where you've been before you opened up Jansen. Well, before, it, it's, it's kind of, I started cooking when I was 14 years of age mm -hmm. and I learned underneath an Austrian Swiss trained chef. Nice. And I thought I learned it all and I said, you know what, I have more to learn. So I went to the restaurant school in Philadelphia, mm -hmm. my alma mater, and they put me in a place called the Four Seasons Hotel. Oh, I think I've heard of it. Yeah, but the, <laughs> the crazy thing was, I never heard of it. So, Right now, I'm going to deglaze. After that shallot's sweated down, translucent, we're going to add a little bit 
of our stock okay. and reduce that down. But I walked in the door and um, I was a co me for 15 months. I just worked for free and, and just tried to learn as much as it's I could. the best way to do it. You know, the one thing people say, well, how did you spend 20 years there? Yeah. And it was pretty easy because, you know, the people that I worked with. That's so, so, so great. I mean, yeah. chefs rarely spend that much time anywhere. No, but we had such a camaraderie and mm -hmm. such a good group of guys that really wanted to just learn, and we got the best ingredients. And a lot right. of those purveyors that I use then, I'm using now. But the thing so about like Jansen, and, right? Yeah. But the thing about Jansen is, we're trying to make it not pretentious. We're trying to make it not stuffy. You don't have to come in in a sport coat. You don't have to come in and dress. See, that's what people want now. They want to eat this caliber of food, but they don't want to have to go through all the pomp and circumstance of going out to a really fancy restaurant. They just want to show up and get fed really well and have a good time and enjoy themselves. And that's a big thing too. Yeah. But to be able to do service well too, to be able yes. to make people feel comfortable Absolutely. and not feel like, oh my God, should I touch a fork? We make people laugh. Like I try to go out and touch every table. That's and try to say hello and, and you know the one thing that I think that restaurants are getting away from is hospitality. Mm -hmm. Is making people feel welcome. Right, it's all, all this fast casual stuff now. Exactly, exactly. Stay tuned for more from Nordon Preferred Kitchen Equipment. This is my first time at Nordon and it's been an absolutely incredible experience. The equipment is top notch from the induction burners to this, I mean the stove gave up off incredible heat but wasn't hot to me. This deck oven is beautiful, I mean a plancha variety of, of products that they have is incredible. We're going to finish this sauce up. We've mounted it with butter, mm -hmm. and we're going to continue to mount it with, uh, I hate to say it, but even more butter. Oh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to keep adding it until it's nice and creamy and rich. So I know a lot of times when you talk about mounting butter, you don't want the sauce to boil. Why isn't it breaking right now? It's well, really right now, simmering. because I haven't really hit it with that much butter. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll bring it down. Mm -hmm. And then, if you could do me a favor, hit a little salt and sure. a little fresh pepper in there. This, the sea salt? Uh, or the no. The sea salt, I think, would make it too much. Okay. Now, if you look at that consistency, I've brought down the temperature a little bit. Okay. And even if it breaks a little bit, we're going to be adding that Meyer lemon to it, which will be a little bit more liquid to it. And that'll so, bring it back together? Exactly. Nice. And then we'll hit it with the fresh herbs. You want a little more salt? Is that all unsalted butter? Unsalted. But grab a spoon and let's give it a taste. Okay. I'm hitting it with a little bit of Meyer lemon, but then we'll finish it at the very end with a little fresh. Mmm. Not bad. Yum. Not bad. Not so bad you can at all. taste that fume. Now, how I made the fume was I took all the fish bones from the turbo mm -hmm. and I slow cooked it in white wine with a little bit of onion, uh, shallots, leeks, and lemon. And nice. that's it. That's Real it. simple. Equal parts white wine and water. So what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, start with the ravioli. Mm -hmm. Just want to make sure that we salt the water. Very important, right? Very important. You want to make sure that the water's salted. It almost tastes like the ocean. Do you add any salt to your pasta dough? I, not to the pasta okay. dough, but the Just filling to the itself, yes. Okay. I don't add salt because sometimes when you roll it, if you roll real thin, the salt will actually not dissolve and it'll mm. rip the pasta. Interesting. So, that's the reason why I want to keep the pasta nice and smooth. Okay. Now, I was so excited to cook with both of you today because our Are director, you? Stephen, is a big fan and friend of he both is. of yours, and he's just talked well, to you guys up so much. <laughs> yeah, we've As known Stephen for a long period mm -hmm. of time. And Great guy. Franche and Nicole. Francesco, you actually cooked for their wedding. I didn't did. You? I did. I cooked his, for his wedding, for That's him and Nicole. Awesome. Yep, that was, it was a great great day. I hear it was a good time. It was a great time. <laughs> great. So how quick do the ravioli cook? These cook pretty uh, quickly. Okay. I just want them to go not too fast so they don't, you know, open up. Mm -hmm. They're pretty delicate. You can actually see the, uh, you can see the green coming through yeah, the pasta. You can. That's what you want. Nice. He makes it so thin that it, it, it's one of our favorite things to do. Nice. On a regular night, we do anywhere from five to seven specials. Wow. Appetizers and entrees. Wow. Now, do you change the menu a lot, or do you um, have we a change it seasonally? Yeah. Yeah, every uh, quarter, and that's why we can't wait for the upcoming season mm -hmm. uh, for springtime. Yeah, winter starts to get a little a little boring. Yeah, after but considering a while, this one, you know? this winter wasn't that bad. It wasn't. You ready for me? Yeah. So what we'll, we're going to do is you saw me place the bowl up on top of yeah. that burnt. What does that do? That just warms the bowl because instead mm. of it going right into there, so what we're going to do That's is a nice tip. we're going to get that warm 
And then the chef is going to put in his pasta. Mm -hmm. Hit some herbs. A little bit of parsley, a little parsley. bit of chive. And then while we're doing that, we're going to reheat our sauce and finish the sauce over here. Okay. Okay. Look at that. Nice. It's nice spring time. It really is. So what we'll do Plus is just kind of mm -hmm. use this like a double boiler mm -hmm. just to keep it warm while Dave's finishing his sauce. Nice. So it's not going to yep. cook too much. It's, it's not, not going to cook. It'll just keep it warm. Perfect. And you don't want to add the herbs. I don't want to add the herbs until Dave tells me to add the <laughs> herbs because what'll happen is the lemon inside will turn the herbs. Uh, and actually, cook that. That would be now, helpful. Now we're going to bring this to a boil, and mm -hmm. then we're going to finish everything up. So I took a little bit of that that burnage, and I finished it into there. And we're going to keep this a little bit light and fresh. So as soon as that comes to a boil, we're going to whip it a little bit. We're going to add our lemon, okay. our parsley, and our chives to it. Nice. And then add our our fish to it. And are you open seven days a week? At no, the we're restaurant? actually okay. uh, we're closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. You need a break. Exactly. Yeah. My freshman actually makes breakfast for the whole restaurant. Does she really? She's great. So Just chip off the old block. Uh, no, she always. I always <laughs> told her I'll teach you how to cook, but I never want you to go into the restaurant business. Really? Nice. A little bit of Meyer lemon. Okay. We're going to drop down the sauce a little bit. That fish is just about done, but what you can do is you can baste over top of your fish mm. too, so that way any part that's going through the whole fish. And you can it's see, really yeah, and that, that is really starting to come together as a sauce. Stay tuned for more from the Chef's Kitchen Restaurant Edition. Cooking in Nordon is one of the, my most favorite things that I get to do when I get invited to the show just because the equipment is so fantastic and they pretty much have everything you could possibly dream of as a chef. So we're going to drop that off and then what we're going to do is finish it now with the fresh herbs. I love chives. Oh yeah. My favorite herb we're probably. We're going to cut that off entirely. Okay. And then a little bit of herbs. Dave likes Parmesan, so I'm going to put a little Parmesan on <laughs> What, you don't like it? I do, but normally Italians don't put Parmesan on when they're serving fish. But True. But it's okay. I mean, anything goes today. I mean, so... Rules were meant to be broken. Dave's the boss, so... I like it over yeah. top of the ravioli, only yeah. because in yeah. just a little bit, not on top of the fish. Right. Just on top of that ravioli. I'm with because you. How about one, truffle? Hmm? Truffle. Truffle oh, it up. Yeah. Yeah. Are you yeah. kidding me? This is Nicole. <laughs> That's a beautiful, We only do the best. Truffle. It is a beautiful truffle. Mm. Smell. So yeah, and he's brought in some uh, Bianco truffles from nice. Italy, which are absolutely fantastic. Okay, so we're ready to plate. Great, I'll go grab the plate. Sounds perfect. As you can see, it's a beautiful white flaky fish. Mm -hmm. Looks perfectly cooked. Well, we hope so. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm out of the job. Nah. Okay. Then we're going to take a little bit of the sauce and just put it around. And then we're going to finish the raviolis and pour a little bit of this sauce over top. Oh my goodness. This looks amazing. Thank you. It smells amazing too. It's you not. smell the wine, you can smell the butter. And the thing is, you know, people when they, they make the wine sauce, you have to make sure that you bring it all the way down so that way it's not whiny. Right. It just has an accent to yep. it and, and it actually tastes good and not too, like, raw. Right. Chef, you want to put those right up on top? How many raviolis do you want, oh. Chef? Whatever you want. Put, give it away. It's the fish cool. looks great, but I'm a pasta gal. There you, you go. Are. I love that. Yeah. It's How many should we put? Two problem. or three? Four. Four? <laughs> well, we at least need one each. All right, we'll keep it on even. We'll do three. I'll eat those on the side. The truffles? You can really smell them yeah, now, right? The you truffles? really can. Oh. If that's not French, I don't know what is, Seriously. right? Seriously. Oh, God, that says it all uh, right there. Wow. Except for the messy cutting board. I was going to yell that extremely hard with that one. Now, um, just to make it a little bit bright, mm -hmm. uh, this is a chiffonade of breakfast radish. Gorgeous. And uh, we've been using, you know, springtime is so uh, marquee for radishes. Mm -hmm. We've been using, we've been doing a crudo of hamachi with watermelon radishes, breakfast radishes. Oh, awesome. And it's so much just, color. yeah, it just makes it pop. This is amaranth. Um, mm. We have about 15 types of greens. We have micro opal basil, we have micro Genovese ba basil, mm -hmm. but we also have a whole bunch of different, like, micro greens that are fantastic, but also really some, earthy. Yeah, very, mm. very earthy. So, just a little pop on top. It really makes it so pretty. And you know what? It's a little bit of earthiness that goes with the morel mushrooms and the truffle. Awesome. 
Now right. we just need some wine to go with this sure nice do. dish. Let's bring it over to the table. I cannot wait to dig in. All right, we have some lovely white wine to go with our Thank fish. You. Thank you. Favorite. Thank part you for of the being on the show today. Cheers. It was our pleasure. This was so much fun. A lot of fun. Cheers to Jansen. Mm. Cheers. Now you have to. Of course I do. You guys and have make sure to join you get me. a truffle. Don't be shy. I'm going right for the rav. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm tired of pasta. I'll have a piece mm. of the fish. Mm. It's so good. It turned out all right. It is so, so, so good. Now I have to have the turbo. Mm. Mm. The turbo's cooked perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Chef. Mm. And I'll have and the ravioli. Rel. I never get it. I think it's safe to say that you two both know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much oh for having Oh my gosh, us. of course. It was really Please fun. Please come back and join us again. I'll be joining you at Jansen Absolutely. very soon. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Nordon is special because we have everything in-house under one roof. So when somebody sees a brochure, they come to Nordon and Nordon brings it to life. The equipment is so fantastic and they pretty much have everything you could possibly dream of as a chef. The typical Nordon customer comes to us for equipment expertise. The equipment is top notch. The variety of products that they have is incredible. When you come here and I see four things that I want or need. If you need something in the Philadelphia, Delaware Valley area, Nordon is your number one choice. You won't be disappointed. We've known each other for a long period of time, and I've done this a couple of times, but it's fun and it's always exciting, and it's nice to be able to get your feedback out to the restaurant world and be able to say thank you. It's always fun being with you, Steven. It's always a great time, great equipment. Your staff's awesome, they're so polite, they treat us like family. It's great to be here.